is up guys it is joe here from joe talks wrestling and today i am bringing you my wwe stomping grounds where we kick ass and take names predictions video let's get right into it with the first match so coming in first, we've got the Cruiserweight Championship match, which is a triple threat consisting of Drew Gulak, Akira Tozawa, and the champion, Tony Nese. I am predicting Tony Nese to retain. He's only had it since WrestleMania. Um, at the same time, he hasn't done too much with it. Um, like, Buddy Murphy was fantastic with the Cruiserweight title. Tony hasn't done too much, but obviously that can't be his fault. Um, but yeah, I think they should keep it on Tony Nese, but I wouldn't be surprised if Drew Gulak picked up the victory. In our next match, we have a two-on-two -two tag team match between The New Day and Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. So it's going to be Xavier Woods and Big E fighting for The New Day, obviously Kofi in a match later on in the night, um, versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. And I mean, it doesn't mean too much. This, may, this match was literally made on SmackDown and I'm not too fussed. I don't think... Whoever wins really matters too much. So I'm just going to pick Kevin Irons and Sami Zayn to win. Because if Kofi's winning later on in the night, then you can have the heels win one. The faces win one. I just gave away my, uh, my prediction. Great. Anyway, carry on. So next up, we've got the SmackDown Tag Team Championship match consisting of Heavy Machinery versus the Eco Warriors. Otis and Tucker versus Daniel Bryan and Rowan for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Brian and Rowan are retaining because we are still yet to see an eco-friendly version of the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. I've been waiting for it for weeks. They said, literally, um, about two months ago now, whenever they won the title, they said that they were going to make an eco-friendly version. And they haven't. So, what are you playing at? I don't want them to lose the belts until I see eco-friendly versions. Next up, we've got the United States Championship match between Ricochet and Samoa Joe. Now, Stomping Grounds is a new pay-per-view, which normally means they, they should pull something out the bag, which is normally a title change. It can be a tag title, a mid-card title, or a main event title. However, I think the championship that should change hands on this card is the United States. Rey Mysterio obviously dropped it. Rey Mysterio, similar to Ricochet. I believe that Ricochet should have a United States Championship run. They wanted a high flyer to beat Samoa Joe. Why not let Ricochet beat Samoa Joe and actually showcase him as a champion on the main roster? Then later down the line, give Alistair Black a championship and their call-up might be worth it. Next up, we've got the big dog Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre. This feud... I just hate it. I just hate it so much, guys. I just do. Just get out. Just go away. The Miz versus Shane was good, but Roman versus Shane versus Drew versus Elias. I hate it so much. I'm out of here. Just kidding. But I do hate it, and it should end. So... Roman's winning because I, I don't know, but I want Drew to win because I love Drew, but they're ruining him. <sighs> Roman Reigns is winning. Next up, we've got the SmackDown Women's Championship match between Bailey, the champion, and Alexa Bliss, the challenger, who is a Raw superstar. I don't care about this whole wild card rule. I mean, there's one exception, one thing that could make, make sense out of all of this, and they, they're clearly not doing it. Just because Raw people can go to SmackDown and SmackDown people can go to Raw doesn't mean they should be allowed to challenge for the other brand's titles. That should not be able to happen. Alexa Bliss should not be able to compete. That's just like having now Roman Reigns compete for the Universal Championship when he's on SmackDown he should be competing for the WWE title. It does not make sense. So because of that one reason, Bayley's retaining. Raw Women's Championship time. Becky Lynch versus Lacey Evans. Another feud I don't care about. WWE, your current product is not looking very good, unfortunately. Um, I'm not a fan of it right now. I can't wait for things to get better again. And yeah, I mean, I've got nothing against Becky Lynch. I still love the man. I love the gimmick. Um, I'm not one of them people that's now going to turn on it because that's not me. But Lacey Evans, I do not like. I'm not a fan of her character. Um, I'm not a fan of her matches. I think she's still got quite a while, like a way to improve. Um, and there's other women on the card that could be in her position that may be like thriving. And Lacey, I've got no doubt, no doubt that she will be great. But I just think it's too soon. I think she needed to stay in NXT. She shouldn't have been called up in the first place. So for those reasons, I believe Becky Lynch is retaining. 
Next up, we've got my one and only match on this card that I'm looking forward to. The WWE Championship match. Steel Cage, Dolph Ziggler, Kofi Kingston. Now, I... This is why I hate some wrestling fans. I've said it in the last predictions video. People are already turning on Kofi. They're literally already turning on Kofi. They're like, now you should drop the belt now. It's like, we, the, why do you think WWE can't keep up with our ideas? It's because we change our minds every 10 seconds. So, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Kofi should hold the championship to SummerSlam, or failing that, to Survivor Series if there's no real challenge. I would love Dolph Ziggler to be WWE champion, but this storyline has come too early. It should have been another storyline, and then, then Dolph beats Kofi, because that would make sense. I don't want Dolph to beat Kofi now, because I do believe it's too soon. If it's going to be Kofi's one and only championship run, it needs to at least be 100 days long. And right now, it's only 70, so... So, yeah, I mean, I know there's a lot of Dolph Ziggler fans out there that want him to win the championship, and I don't blame you at all. Unless you wanted nothing more than for Kofi to win, and now you've turned on that and gone with Dolph. That's just not fair, and I don't agree with it. So, for that reason, I believe Kofi Kingston is going to win. However, however, I do believe there will be something like interference or a screwy finish again. I know it's hard because it's a steel cage, but maybe Ziggler escapes through the door, Kofi escapes over the top, both their feet touch at the same time, setting up a potential match at Extreme Rules. Or Ziggler can straight up get screwed and said, no, you're not having any more matches because you clearly can't do the job. Then Ziggler builds up again and then gets a match at SummerSlam and beats Kofi. Bang, predict, put me on the creative team. Why not? Move on to the next match. And here we go, Seth Rollins versus Baron Corbin. Um, and... I mean, this is at stomping grounds, remember? So, where we kick ass and take names. Um, and it's the first stomping grounds where we take names and kick ass. And because of that stomping grounds, where we kick names and take ass, I believe something big needs to happen at stomping grounds, where we take ass and kick names. So, because of that, I do believe this might be the time where Brock Lesnar will cash in his Money in the Bank briefcase and beat Seth Rollins for the Universal Championship. I don't want it to happen. I hope it doesn't happen. I hope Seth retains and beats Corbin completely and utterly easily and we get a cool guest referee. Um, and, yeah, I don't believe there's going to be a Bray Wyatt on the show doesn't need to be Bray Wyatt on the show. It wouldn't make sense. Like, I've seen the rumours of Bray Wyatt going to be the special guest referee. No, please don't do that. Um, so, yeah, because of them reasons, I believe it's either going to be a Brock cash-in or a Seth retain. No chance in hell of a Corbin winning. If that happens, I don't know. I'm going to be in utter shock. So, I will see you on Sunday for my reactions to WWE Stomping Grounds, where we kick ass and take names. Like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.